Alright, this is going to be the first test here to see how my setup is looking. It's not going to be the best test because I don't have it streaming live. But it does have the chat bar up and everything. Everything should be running good. Starting off where I left off last night. shouldn't take too long to load in. Might take a second because I do have quite a few things going. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. First things first. I want to go get some more rock, but I'm going to offload some of these sticks. So actually, I don't need to offload too many sticks. But I do need to offload some of this. So let's split this. Let's take about we'll take about 15. We'll leave 15 there. Put that in there. That's gonna get rid of my weight right there. But this should be empty now. And I can fit 25 sticks in there. So we're gonna fit there's 16. Seven too many. Let's split this. Um, two. And we're going to control click that. Oh, it's not doing it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, um, so, oh, you know what? How many do we got in there? Eight times three? That's okay. So we need one stick. There we go. That lightened our burden, which means we will be able to carry more stone. Uh, let's get a look at our map here. Okay. We want to head this way. We may need a few sticks, which we'll have, what, what do we have, five? So we might have to look for some flint and gather up some more uh, sticks and flint and all that kind of stuff to make more uh, tools shovels etc you know we're gonna pick these up if we can <clears throat> once my nature lore gets to the point where I can actually grab some sprouts I'm gonna want to grab sprouts all foggy out and it's a full moon well I'm still healing from my wound as you can see oh, let's see here dig forward let's look at my modifier for my food my food quality modifier is only 0.6 so that's still kind of low so my stats are only going to go up by a 0 0.06 so that's okay once we get my food modifier up and I start getting higher quality food I'll start really leveling up and I did tell my brother I would like to see him join this if he <coughs> if he gets the game so Maybe one of these days you'll see him on there. I don't know if that'll happen or not. <coughs> it uh, may, it may not. I hope it does, though. Mm. 
Excuse me. I think I'm going to be able to hold about 220 stone with all the burden I just decreased myself with by putting down some food and stuff. The sticks, so. <clears throat> Although I do need to eat some more food because I'm at about half hunger. And you do your best work when you're full. So let's eat some. What quality are these apples? 16, yeah, see my quality of apple gathering is getting up there. <coughs> as soon as I get a structure built and I get a few things like a kiln and some furnaces built and organized where I want them, I will be able to eventually, <coughs> excuse me, I will be able to eventually um, get some rabbit hutches built, which these apples will come in good for, because I'll be making traps to catch capture rabbits and chickens. <coughs> and rabbits do breed fast. I made, I don't know, like seven hutches and two of them were chicken hutches and the rest were all rabbit hutches and the, that was on my other server that, <coughs> it was on a server I was playing on, I'm sure you guys remember the videos, but man I had so much stuff, I ended up quitting that because it just became too much of a, a task with everyday life and stuff and uh, I couldn't just drop it and leave it because it had to be attended to so uh, I ended up giving it to my buddy and then uh, he eventually quit it too so it kind of went in the dust but that's okay <clears throat> Rock do I have now? Oh, yeah, a little more than 220. It looks like I think this will be my last dig. We'll see here. I don't think I'll get any more than that. 223. Yep, okay, that's good though. That's good. Okay, it's about that direction. <clears throat> Slowly hauling rock. Could you imagine if you really could hold that much rock? Could you imagine if they made this where, like, you had to put the rock in a bag and you had to equip the bag on your back and tote it, and you couldn't have any weapons if if something come along, you had to drop the bag and then pick a weapon up if you had a weapon like on your side, like maybe the bag had would take up both backpack spaces in or both slots for the back I they could or if you just had to use your arms for the bag and it didn't take up any backpack or any slots and then you'd have to drop the bag and then fight <clears throat> oops I wasn't paying attention Ooh, I'm very, 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 very out of breath. Alright, there's my little local spot. Alright. <clears throat> As you can see, you can see the difference where there's forest, forest uh, soil, and there's regular brush and stuff, and my stone or gravel spots. Let's F3 it real quick here. 
we are going to start right over here and we're going to go out that way all right so we want to build stone road uh do i need a hammer equipped i think i do yes i do my wound shouldn't have long and it'll be gone six minutes or so okay I do like the music to this game. Whoever made the music for this game, it's grand. I love it. <coughs> Let's see how much rock we got left. Plenty to do some more. That's good. The more the merrier. The more I can haul. I love having a lot of willpower. Because with a lot of willpower comes, you have the ability to to carry more weight. So I'll show you my stats right here. I started off with oh, I believe it was a uh, nor, <coughs> and I uh, decreased my strength by five. Then I increased my agility. I decreased my intelligence because I don't want the modifier I don't want the bonus because eventually I'll have all the skills so I don't need it to have better skill stats in the end and I upped my willpower and I believe I left my constitution right where it was at so yeah this is typically the setup I like to have because I like to be a hunter-gatherer mostly. Um, I don't mind fighting sometimes, but I'm not particularly the kind of guy that likes to fight too much. I like to do... <clears throat> I like to hunt. If I have to fight, I will fight, but... I'm not the best at it. I've learned a few things, though, from past experiences. But, uh... That's partly why I chose to, uh, hey, settle down, boy. That's partly why I chose to, um, play on this is because I wanted to focus on learning the game more before I get into the battle aspects and fighting. And... Alright, we're going to go to flat ground. <clears throat> Don't start with me, mister. You've been outside. Sit down. Sit. 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 Good boy. You want a treat? I'll give you a treat. Now that's a big enough area to put a house, but we're going to wait, we're going to stretch out this way a little bit, and we're probably going to stick it from this spot, well, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we're, we're going to work a little bit more, right now I want to go get some more rock, <clears throat> we're just kind of mapping things out and getting a feel for the area and getting it all built up how we want to try, how we can, 
and uh, see what is the best plan for building. <laughs> much time to play today <clears throat> due to the fact that I have work and I have some errands to do so unless I can get a ride to work my car is being worked on so <clears throat> raining out today it's raining out today okay oh there goes my pickaxe okay all right let's put that in the junk pile now we need at least one flint so we're gonna step over here we're gonna look for materials <coughs> There's some flint right in front of me. We're going to pick up all the other stuff too because we will need it eventually for something. Whether it be rope or anything. And rope specifically meaning the plant fibers. Well, we have two flint. So we can build two pickaxes. Let's kind of scan this area. Here's some more flint. <clears throat> Here's some more sling ammo. We'll take that. Sling ammo is always good. Maybe one of these days I can take down a deer and it won't be a uh, oh, mythic deer, <laughs> as I call them, because of the simple fact that... Uh, they have uh, no type of uh, health that you know of. I like the fact that they don't have health bars. That I like, but um, you, if you chase one long enough and you've done more than 300, I'd say 300 damage, and it still hasn't dropped unless they've changed it, I would suggest changing targets. Um, they may have changed it, I don't know. Um, that's something I have to determine yet. But sometimes, at least as of late, I have ran into deer that just do not want to die. So I'll have to keep testing the situation and see what all they've changed. Or even look it up on their uh, forums. <clears throat> okay, we got enough stuff now. We're going to sit right here. We're going to open up the O key and we're going to make two of these I think um yeah we'll make two of them so we'll mass produce until two of them are made and once the second one's made I'll hit escape and it should cancel out the production that way I have at least one more made bingo done okay 
Now inventory is I. Alright, let's see here. Here's the one. We're going to put that on. There's the other. So all these tools, all this area is good. This is my junk pile. We'll set this down here. Put that down there. Alright. Still on dig forward, so we'll dig forward. <coughs> tools made. Alright, we'll let that finish. Okay. So I believe this is our second night. Cycles for the day and night, I believe, are the regular cycle time so I'm glad I have so many oak trees near me stone so we've got our hammer equipped so we're gonna keep going with this Oop. almost did that one wrong that one's already where it needs to be escape will cancel that As you can see this is very slow paced and I rather like it that way because it's relaxive um, if you want something that's a lot faster paced you can either make your own server and adjust the, the actions and the time periods for everything um, 
but or you can uh, join a modded server or a regular server, whatever you want. There's servers out there. Just find something that's your niche. Uh, but for right now, this is what I like. It's a nice slow pace, very relaxive, and I can do as I please. I'm not easily frustrated, so. Now, in order to carry more, if I want, I can drop stone here, but I will have to re-flatten it after I pick up the stone that I need to pick up. So I'm not going to do that particularly in that spot. But if I want to drop it, say, right here, I can drop this 25 and come pick it up, and then I'll have even more. So we're going to do this. We're going to pour this on the ground. And we're going to remember this spot, which is right next to that tree. And we're going to go gather a stone, and then we'll put some down, and we'll might get an extra spot put out of it. Get an extra spot made into a uh, paved gravel, or paved uh, road. Uh, I'm mixing two games. I played, I played this game and Worm, and they're very... They're similar in ways, but they're very different in many ways, but uh, both are good games. I just, right now, I'm really liking playing this. Um, who knows, I might go back to Worm, but uh, for right now, this is what I'd like want to play, so this is what I'm playing. <coughs> Good night's rest. It's always good to have a good night's rest. I may have to move uh, the window for my URL. Um, it might not be seen as well, so I may have to move that. Um, I'll figure that out here later in another video. Um, this is just basically a test video. I probably will be posting it to just to see what people think of it and anything people may suggest. Let's see here. Inventory shows that I have. Let's move this down here a second to show you. That's uh, how much rock I have. I didn't even realize my inventory was in a spot where uh, it would be covered up by the chat window. So. Unless I have it in the wrong order, which I don't think I do. The OBS has been a godsend for me to stream, and I'm very excited to have it. Very much like it. I suggest it. It's a great program. So if you're looking to stream, uh, even, you know, uh, what is it? TubeBuddy. They help me out a lot too. Um, shout outs to TubeBuddy. Um, I don't have any of their 
logos or anything like that but they they uh they really helped me with the nick guy he he helped me out a lot last night get this set up to where it is now and it still needs some work i still need to mess with it a little bit but um it's very much so it's it's a lot of stuff about layering and stuff and i learned this with uh Adobe programs and all that kind of stuff when I Photoshop and all that kind of stuff when I was going to school for game art design and uh, It's it's really cool stuff. Oops That's all gone <laughs> Okay, we do we don't want to drop down in there because we'll be stuck permanently So we're not gonna go anywhere near that anymore Okay, let's see how much rock we have we have 188 okay so now we are going to go completely over here and we're going to start right here and let's actually get right here we're going to dig we're going to dig forward on that until I have a house built I do not want to drop in any holes like that otherwise I'm gonna to have to figure out admin commands to get myself out and I haven't looked up admin commands in a while and I don't even know if I set admin commands for this server so and I want to try and stay away from that because I don't want to have the temptation to cheat to get something built. I want to do this all on my own, so. Oh, I think I'm full. 212. Okay, so double my weight. Double my weight is what I can hold. Ooh, eagle or hawk or something. Where is it? I don't see it. Probably just a noise and that's it. That'd be cool if they showed them flying around. That'd be cool if like you were just walking around and like if you had an animal nearby, like a small rabbit or something, you could see an eagle swoop down and take it out. That'd be cool. Let's uh, stop and eat some food real quick here. Put my system log on. Now, right now, my this food that I'm eating is 12 quality, and it does 8.49 food uh, hunger that it gives me. So, uh, actually, we're gonna eat one more. So, I do have a lot of food made, but it will go quite quickly because it's such low quality and such low nutrition. So, that is one thing about my food right now. So, I may have had a bunch made, but I will eventually have to go fishing again. And fishing is going to be my main source of uh, food until I can get farms built and get rabbit hutches built and be able to hunt and I mean I can hunt right now but if I go out hunting right now and go out for a long periods of time hunting animals then um, I would waste my time because it takes more to cook that food and uh, it's just it's easier for me right now to utilize the fishing fishing is your source of food in the beginning in my opinion others may disagree but uh, that's my opinion I mean if you want to go hunting right off the bat by all means go for it I mean you can do it but you're gonna want to start off with fishing because that's what you can cook I mean if I remember correctly, some of the other cooking, like game meat and stuff, is later down the road when your skills are a little higher. I'll have to double check that because I haven't checked that in a while. But I'm 
Alright. Now. Now we're going to pick up that stone we dropped earlier. So we don't waste that. Okay, that's all built up. I think we're going to put our house right here and right in this area right here. So, the question is, is do I want to build it up anymore around it? Build up the ground around it? Or do I want to slope it down and create a lower leveled area? Because that's a lot of area to fill. So, let's see here. Let's get right here. We're gonna uh, shovel flattened ground. Artisan is almost, it's getting close to 35, so I've gone a little bit up in that. My strength is getting close to 12, which can be good. If I get my strength up to 15, I might cap it at that. Oh, my shovel went kaput. Okay. Put that in the junk pile. Alright, we're going to go to O. Now, if I eventually build a monument and uh, have that, I can get rid of all of these old tools to the monument. Okay. I got to get that equipped. Oh, here we go. Gonna have to move this. Put that right there. I want to still be able to see my health. Why is that not moving? Here, let's close that. Move that right there. There we go. It'll be overlapped a little bit, but that'll be okay. Okay. Flatten this out. We'll get this flattened. Once I get my hut built and I put my bed in it, I'm good to go. I'm going to build a shack, either a tiny shack or a plaster shack, one or the other. I'm, I might build a tiny shack. We'll see what materials I need for it. And perfect. Now, we're going to stand right here. We're going to do this. We're going to go to build. Simple construction. Alright. We want to go to residential. Now. Plaster shacks take clay, fiber, and bullets. Small houses. You're not going to build that yet. You need uh, like windows and doors. And mortar. That's at more advanced stuff. Same thing with the small wooden houses. You're going to need nails and all that. 
Tiny Shack is your other option. This is what I'm going to build because of the simple fact that I do not want to run everywhere to gather up um, clay. So this is what I'm going to build. Now let's see here. Let's see if I can move around here. If I can see a little bit. Okay. Now. Alright. Let's hit the tab button. Now I can see where I'm at. We're going to move this over here. Right there. And I want to move it not there, but right. One more. If I can get it to go right there. And I think I'm going to want the entrance right over here. And this I'm going to slope off and use as a backdrop for something else. So what we will do is make sure it's rotated the proper way. Okay, uh, let's see here, where is the door, right there, is that the door, yeah that looks like the door, so, it's kind of tricky, alright now, let's see here, let's keep moving it, until we get it in the right spot, Bingo. There we go. Now we gotta move it a little bit more. So we're gonna move it to the right there. Or left. And then we're gonna move this one niche over just a little bit more. Right there. Then we're gonna build. So that's gonna be built. Now I can place my crates and stuff inside but if you place inside be very careful how you place them because sometimes they can get stuck in the roofs and it's not fun to deal with okay now let's see here do i still have rock yes i do okay um where did i put that rock right here so we're gonna drop this rock all right here just so it's out of the way and just so I know where it's at. And while that's doing that, I'm going to take a short bathroom break, guys. Oh, it didn't do it all in one succession. All right, here we go. All of them. There we go. That is probably done. Alright. And you can see the difference of the pile of stones or pile of rock. I mean, it looks more broken up. So, okay, now let's get this built. So, we're going to open this and we're going to go to simple construction here. We need 15 billets, 5 boards, and 20 fiber. Now, I have the fiber. We're going to put that in. And we're gonna what we're gonna do actually we're gonna do this a very different way we're going to move one of those over now this is a shortcut way maybe not it's not a shortcut way but this is a way to build up your construction in the beginning if you want to 
I don't know how effective it is, but um, right here, my construction just went up by to 265. Now, if you build items with one thing at a time, you get more construction points from from it. Because if I were to put them all in, actually, I think they changed it so if you put them all in, you get a boost. So let's put them all in and see what we get. Okay, so we're going to ch check this out real quick. It went up by 0 .2, 0 0.02061 the first time. Now let's see what it goes up this time. Okay, so it went up by 0 0.02216. So yes, I was right the first time. If I would have done each of those per unit, I would have gained a lot more experience points. So uh, let's start off with this bottom board. We're going to saw boards. Uh, oh, I need to put on my, my saw. So we're going to put that in place of... We'll do the shovel for now. All right, we'll close that up. And then we'll saw boards. And we need five of those. It's very tedious to do it that way, but you can gain more experience, so. Unless you just want to wait till you have better food and you can do it, but it's up to you. Oh, that log is gone. Now, uh, we're going to saw this log too. We're going to grab some, we're going to saw this log out too. Because it's a very low quality log and I want that shack to just be whatever for whatever purposes. I don't need it to last forever. So, I don't want to build it out of the highest quality stuff. I want to build it out of the lowest quality. Now, once we have this shack done, I have no problem going hunting because I can gather up my food and I can home, I can recall to my house very easily with everything in me once I set it, the house as my home. So, And by everything in me, I mean all of the um, the antlers, the, the skin, the meat, whatever else I gather from it. it depends on what you get from it or whatever animal I do. I do kill so we might go a little go hunting after this there's the third board fourth board I mean and this is quality three and this is quality seven so all of these are 10 and under, so. Okay, escape on that. Now, we're going to get this, and we're going to saw billets. We're going to put that at infinite. We're going to saw billets. We need 15 of those. <clears throat> While that's sawing, I'm going to get a drink of water.
these weigh a little bit, so I'm only going to be able to get so much of them. I should have plenty enough wood to do what I need to do, though. Now, that soft wood over there, that soft wood right there, I'm going to save that for making handles, for making tools when I get to it. All right, so build some for construction. Now, we're going to add one piece at a time. This will decrease the wear on, it will increase the wear on my hammer. So I may need to make a new hammer eventually, but it will increase my construction quite quickly. And I want to have better construction, so when I construct stuff, it actually lasts a while. So we're going to split this. We're going to split this by one we're gonna split it by one we're gonna get them all split by one and then we'll just keep adding the resource and working at it and we're getting roughly uh roughly uh two percent uh to the next level every time we do that yeah, right now it's 500 quality. When it's built, it'll tell me how much more it is. This this will take a little longer than normal, but I just I just want to build up my con my construction skill a little bit. <clears throat> that way, when I start constructing some more things, they 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 are uh, more sturdy and more quality. It's just a little technique I use in the beginning to get my construction up. Now, if you want to and you don't want to do that, that's fine. But this is just what I like to do. It's, it may not be a necessary thing to some people. So, I mean, in the long run, it's you could probably, by building something very huge, get just as much skill. So, I know you do get bonus skills. Uh, when you have uh, a lot, a big project where you build everything all at once, so. At least sometimes you do. Maybe, well, I can't say that because we just tested it with this, so. But that could be on this. I think I built something before where I actually had, like, uh, a bonus but I had very high, uh, what was it, uh, like 3.4 modifier for my food modifier. So that could have been an, a factor. But this will gain you more skill. And you'll need every little bit you you can you'll need every little bit especially if you started the way I did where construction is at zero I started with my construction at zero so which you know that's not a big detriment to me I mean other people will start with higher construction so they can build more stuff but I mean I'm working from bare bones I wanted to be able to hunt and gather first and kill animals and then learn how to do all my constructive materials oh it looks like i don't need no i think i need i don't think it said five i think it said 15. if it said five billets i mislooked at that but i'm gonna look at that again let's uh let's look at that one more time yes 15 billets okay I was making sure that red kind of threw my eyes off there a little bit. Okay, so we're back over here again. And we're going to start on this one. We're going to saw out billets and just let it go. We need 11 of those bad boys. Hopefully my saw doesn't die. If my saw dies, then I'm going to have to gather more material for my make another saw. What, boy? What are you doing, huh? What's your problem, boy? You had food, you had water, you went potty. 
You just want pets? Huh? You want pets? I'll give you pets. We can't go for a walk today. It's raining, boy, and I don't want you to get sick. Yeah, I know. Come here, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy. Buford, Buford. What you doing, boy? I've got three pickaxes and three shovels that are junk. I think I'm going to have to build a crate and just stick junk tools in it. Or make a garbage pile, if I can make a garbage pile. You need to be brushed, boy. Yeah, you do. I need to brush you again. <laughs> Did I sniff you? Did I sniff you? Huh? We're about halfway done. A little more than halfway done, boy. We're six out of eleven. Seven out of eleven. Ooh. My saw just break. Or did my energy run out? It stopped going, so let's do that. Oh, not bored. Sounds like a helicopter. No, it's a train. Boy, I didn't hear that very well. I had this on though, so. Okay, my saw is getting to the point where it's going to break soon. Hopefully we'll get the 11 that we need. Because I, then I can do my house and I'll be happy. When you get more breakups in the actions, it means a tool is going to break. Okay, and we're going to look at that tool real quick just so we can, oh, uh, here, right here. Yeah, it's down to five. It's still got a little bit of use, but it's, it's getting down there. All right, now we're going to finish this up. It's getting daylight. Look at that. Still a little foggy out. Beautiful. The scenery in this game is so lovely. This game is one of my favorite games I've ever played. Uh, at first glance, I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy it. But I did give it a try. And after playing it, I, I was hooked. And I, I've come back to it and left it a few times due to circumstances of life. But uh, it's an it's a excellent game. If you want to play something that's fun, play it. And it's 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 uh it's challenging. That's what I like about it. Boom. Okay. Tab out. Oh, wrong thing. Right click. Head source. Now, where is that? Uh, let's see here. Let's go here. Construction. Let's look. It is only at 2 and it is going up slowly. My hunting is almost 30, which is great. That is great. 
I love that. That means I've actually done a lot of that. Hunting you can get from uh, fishing to killing wild game. Uh, what is that noise? That was a uh, odd noise. This is a series of movements, I guess you could say, for your character, or a series of clicks for you, or movements to do this in the right manner so uh, what I do is I do this hit tab right click open this bring this over or if I want I can right click it or not right click it uh, left click it with control and it will bring it back and forth like that Okay, and what is my skill? It's got to be close to three. Oh yeah, it's close to three. I think I will get three construction out of this. Now some people to save time, they might just like throw it all in there at once and just build it. Um, me, I'm just going to do it this way, so... But if I was pressed for time, I might do that. And it seems uh, more applicable to the sense of the game to actually put one piece in at a time instead of all at once. So it just seems like it if they made it like that uh, I'm sure a lot of people might get uh, very annoyed with the game um, but there would be a large following I'm sure that would really like that because it would be more authentic to medieval times so but do it however you want to do it the game allows you to do it however you want to do it so do it however you want to do it whatever makes you happy there we go now I've got three now I'm at three which is good and we're about to put the last piece in and this will construct then we're going to move our bed inside and we're going to set as home we're going to leave our crates outside of the home for now yes boy i hear you and there is my tiny shack it is built oh backspace backspace get rid of that okay yeah, I already knew that. Okay. And we'll go inside and you can look at my beautiful little home. It's rustic. See, this is what it looks like. Alright, so we're going to right click on this and claim it as my house. And now I am set. Alright, we're going to put my bed in there. Now this can be tricky. If you hit C, you can get into first person mode we're gonna get this right in the center and we're gonna set that right there uh, actually we're not uh, well I don't like that because I want my bed to face settle down boy oh oh what the heck I just duplicated my bed <laughs> oh boy hey quit your whining quit your whining mister oh boy that's a that's interesting if you just right click oh boy okay we're gonna go out here this is something I've never done before okay all right let's see here let's place that 
Alright. Alright, let's flip that up, please. Okay. Now that that's on record. Okay, okay. Didn't duplicate my bed. Okay, that's good. It's just we'll figure out how we get this settled in here. Okay, we're gonna right click, right click, drop. There we go. Let's rotate this bad boy. We want it like that. We're gonna lift it up a little bit and that's fine. We'll place it. Now now my home is all set. Um Sell down boy, we are gonna claim this one more time. Just now that it has a bed in there just to be set. Now we're all set with that. See out. And look, my campfire took a poo, it's gone now, so we can actually fix this. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna get that all situated. We are going to equip this where the saw was. And I think we might uh, have to take a break here because I have a few things to do before work, but uh, that's okay. We're going to use the shovel and lower. That should give us enough stone to do one plot. 30 stone. And then we're going to come right over here. We're going to work on this. Is that the right spot? Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to go to build stone road. Oh, I lost all the fuel in that uh, camp. I shouldn't have put the fuel in it. That's okay. It's gone now. And look at that. See this area is shaping up a little bit, isn't it? This is our little start. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm going to take a breather here. I've got some stuff to do, and I may be on tonight or tomorrow. It depends. So, anyways, good uh, day, good uh, night, or good afternoon, and like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thank you. All right.